Hello. I hope you're doing very well. Um, today is a different kind of video. I am probably going to have a different audience come, but um, normally I make ASMR videos, loose term, um, but I recently bought this camper and I've been watching a lot of camper videos online and I realized that there aren't that many reviewing this particular camper with this layout. So since I usually make YouTube videos, I figured I'd make one reviewing this camper in the most layman terms you possibly can. Uh, I've noticed on camper videos, camper review videos, that people usually talk outside the camper for the first half of the video while you're like, please just show me the inside of the camper. I really don't need to hear you talk. So I'm just gonna, do, I'm not gonna make you wait half the video, but uh, I'm just kind of explaining what it is, I guess. And a lot of times these, the camper videos are made by old men, older, advanced age men with really cool beards and they look adorable and like I want to feed them soup and I just love them so I'm sorry that I'm not an old man but I'll do my best. Sunny. So this is the Halo. They call it Halo, right? I don't know. It's made in Canada. Um, but every time I talk about it, I call the I call it the Halo. So um, it's the Halo Three, but it has a little accent over the E, so I feel like it's not an E eh sound. It's like an A uh sound, an A sound. I don't know. You say it a certain way. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. But this is the configuration with the large kind of. I think it's a queen size bed in the back. A little bed in the front it has actually instead of just telling you what it has and taking up time before I actually just show you let's just show you I don't know all the technical things about this so don't I mean you can ask me but I won't be able to answer um, but I'll show you the, like the layman's version this will be the worst review of the the worst most re thorough review of this camper that's out there um, in that you'll get to see lots of things but that I probably won't explain them very well. Uh, worst review in that I don't know what I'm talking about, um, not in that it's a bad camper, because I think it's a good camper. So let's look at it. Oh yeah, I live next to a train. Yuck. Okay, so let's start with the outside, because that's normally how people start. Hello. I like that it's not super 70s looking, you know, brown with all the kind of solo cup lasers and stuff in the background. Um, <laughs> it has a little storage area, which you can also get to from the inside. We will look at that. It has this, which blows hot air, and I have been told not to touch it, but it's off so I can touch it. Um, it has an outlet, so that's cool. It has a door. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. And this little hook thingy, so you can make the door stay open, which we are going to do. I'm going to use my head to finish closing the door. There we go. Um, it has a screen with a little pass-through thing that opens. Just in case you do want to let some of the bugs in. Um, it has this big bump out where the battery get get okay. Battery, yes, you can see that because it's working. Uh, the battery and the propane tank on. It is fiberglass, so it's super light. It can be pulled by basically anything. Um, even my Bronco can pull it. it. Has I forget 
what this vent is for, but it has one. And it has a shower. An outdoor shower. And from what I vaguely remember of the talking about it walkthrough whenever we bought it, it has its own water tank. See? It has weight. What? Hot's supposed to be on this side. That would be cold normally. But this says H for hot and C for cold. Maybe Canadians are backwards. So you got that. And then you also have this fun little clip right here, right here, for if you want to hands-free wash your crotch, I guess. Because, God damn it, this shouldn't be this difficult. I'm doing it one-handed, okay? Um, because it's really low, so I'm, I guess I'm just going to be holding it most of the time. I don't know why the clip is so, so low. We're going to put this back in together. Yeah. No, we're not. I'm going to do it later. Okay. So here is from the fridge, it's a tube from the fridge, and these are vents for air conditioning. It didn't get one with an air conditioner in it because we want to pick our own later. Uh, outlet, or I guess, you know, we're plugging it in. Then we have this door with a pilot light for lighting the hot air, the hot water. Yes. Which is good to have hot water. Get back. You know, it's kind of hard to do these things with one hand, so you get what you get. Also can't do that with one hand. I'll close it in a minute. Yeah. What is this? I don't even remember what this is. I think this is for, I don't know what that is, but it has one, and hopefully you know what it is. I think this is for, for filling with water. Uh, it has a little light. Yeah. I live in Kentucky, but I got it in Virginia, so it has a temporary Virginia plate. It has a light. Oh yeah, and this is where we bought it, in Virginia. That was a fun 22 hour round trip. All right, so now let's look inside. And it latches up. So it has a step up into it, which, oh damn. You would think I'd be better with a camera, but I'm not. Okay. Uh, which is already uh, rusted, but I think that's the only like material draw drawback I've seen. You can do this. You can do this. Okay. It's really not that high of a step. I don't even know why it needs a drop down thing. So, oh my god. So, let's show you one half first, and then we'll show you the other side. So, this is the back part. It has a table. And a little kitchen, which is cool. It lifts up and then you set the faucet up. And the water tanks are actually empty right now because we're not gonna go anywhere very soon. And you don't want the stagnant, the water getting all stagnant. So it has propane burners and the sink just turns on. Oh, and there's a little bit of water in the tank, I guess. And it has this, which is the bane of my existence because everything has such nice finishes and like, but then you have this like Dollar Tree shower hanger, which it reminds me of. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it really does. Um, this is the one thing I really want to change quickly about this thing. I mean, I get that it can't go much further down than this, but I feel like 
there could be a much better uh, solution than that. Actually, I'd rather it just not even be there because it has four, oops, four holes were drilled into this. So I was thinking maybe at least they could have scooched it over, but two, because it, it just doesn't seem like a good use of space for being such a small camper. We're gonna sit you down this glass thing and it's gonna work. It's gonna work, okay. So, we have the tabletop, which has a little button. We're gonna get in here together. It has this little button. And it pops off, I swear it does, because I've done it before. I'm gonna hit myself in the face doing this. Why? Okay, well, we're gonna unscrew it from the bottom. Review of my intelligence or lack thereof. I feel like this is really inappropriate what I'm doing to this table right now. Um, okay, so we're gonna hit this button at the bottom and we're going to unscrew the pole. See that little black button? I'm gonna hit that with my foot and then unscrew it, which this is. I'm sure not the way to do it, but this, there you go. I'm gonna turn this upside down. You see that now? Okay. Oh, good. I was hitting the wrong button. Or maybe this went through. There you go. Now we have a pole and a tabletop. And we're going to move you. And we're gonna move this blanket. And this, this cushion too. And we're gonna lift, lift this up, which goes to that storage area, which we open from the outside. Uh, but I wanted to show you that you can get to it from the inside. I'm gonna put the bowl in there. We are gonna make this into a bed now. And it has these fitted notches where you can put the round tabletop to kind of stabilize this whole flat surface. Also, before we put that down, let's show you. Heater. A charging center. And on this side, and this cushion. And then, look, it has all the electronic stuff that I do not understand. But it has power. Oh boy. Oh boy. The stand is angry. The stand is angry. Okay. There you go. There. Maybe if you are smart enough, you will know what all those things do. I do not. Oh boy. Tabletop, pick it up. Put it in said notches. Look, yes, in the notches. And then these two pieces. They go this way? Yeah, they go this way. Right? Nope. They go a long ways. Like that. the other way. Yeah, I haven't had this thing that much, that long, so. There we go. Now we see, we see the flat bed expanse. It is quite firm. I'm 
now we are going to look at these drawers and this cabinet and the fridge. So it's kind of like on a boat. You push it because it's locked in place. That cabinet is where most people put the air conditioner. More things. Yeah, they, it doesn't seem like there's much wood in here at all, which is why it's so light. But everything feels really well made. I know we could have gotten a bigger camper that was more affordable, but I guess this this guy um, is fiberglass, so it lasts longer and has a better resale value, even though I'm not planning on reselling it. I like this a lot. This makes a lot more sense to me than shower shelf not better very better okay and then up we have the fan with the controls and it's fun and then this is the hub for the whole thing uh, it tells your battery condition I can read it to you Fresh water, gray water, black water. Um, open. Can't do that with one hand. The fridge also locks because this whole thing moves. Fridge. Oh my god. Just a second. <laughs> fridge. Freezer. Fridge door. We have these lights on both sides. They have a couple of settings. They're super bright white though. So I think I'm gonna switch them out. There's one above this other seating area. It's also bad, we will get into it. I'm going to cover this in stickers for everywhere I take this because I love the look of that. And I think it'll be really fun to pick up uh, sticker at like every national park or state park. Okay. So there's another cabinet area and RV toilet paper, which I didn't know was a thing. I mean, it makes sense. It's basically just single ply, but the toilet handles it better. This toilet is also really good if you're an exhibitionist and don't care about privacy because it's right here. It has another one of those knobs. There you go. And there, you can go to the bathroom in the middle of your house. That's very exciting. I'm the only one who has used it yet. Just peed in it and it worked great. And it flushes. It's not a composting toilet, it's a regular RV flushing toilet. Okay, so this is where the back big bed is. This is where the front little bed is. And maybe I'll be better at taking this pole off. Wouldn't count on it. Fuck. Get out. Get. Okay, we're gonna do the same. No, we can't, because this is not round. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't like this. Nope. Maybe we don't have to show this. Okay. My little stick fell asleep and I didn't even realize it. There you go. Perked right back up. So. I'm not going to take this pole off. It has the same thing as the black button at the bottom. It has this edge all the way around. It goes down, lays in the edge, and then 
this and that go over it and then it makes a little bed. Okay, so also in this island thing, which I did not cover, is a microwave. So that's cool. And a carbon monoxide detector so we don't die. And underneath the sink, there is a fire extinguisher which is nice. I also like the sticker for it is not huge and obnoxious. Um, danger sticker for what to do if you smell propane. Basically extinguish flames. Uh, you know, comments and stuff. But, oh yeah, and there's a smoke detector above the door. But that is basically it. I really, really like it. I am looking forward to going on adventures and making videos all over the U.S. in it, and it's the, yeah, the, the Hello 3. Bye.